This here is the new HTC One. It's new for 2013, uh, HTC's new flagship phone. I'm super excited about this device because HTC is bringing a number of new uh, features and specs to the game. And let's go ahead and jump in and take a look. And as you can see, it just turns on extremely quickly, even for the initial boot. And if you don't mind, for the sake of time, let me go ahead and quickly breeze through all the setup so that you don't have to sit here through the whole borrowing process. Just know that it's quite simple and easy to do. Jumping straight into the hardware, there's a front-facing 2.1 megapixel camera, HD microphone for recording, New ultra pixel camera featuring f2.0 aperture and 28 millimeter lens. Beats audio. On the right hand side and another HDR mic. Volume rocker up down. On the left hand side is the micro sim card slot. Power button with embedded infrared for your remote control app. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. The display is 4.7 inch featuring a 1080p panel, 468 ppi. This all aluminum smartphone is one of the most gorgeous device I've ever laid my eyes on. So I've been using the HTC One the last few days now. All I can say is that this is the best phone, whether it's Windows, Android, or whatever, this is the best handset HTC has produced to date. Why? Because it's a, it's a marriage between an awesome piece of hardware with uh, a few of the tweaks that they've added to Android. And with that, let's go ahead and jump in. As you notice here, there's a gorgeous 4.7, 468 PPI uh, 1080 display. I mean, it's amazing to watch videos, pictures, uh, just to use in general. There's a front-facing camera, frontal speakers. Um, I'll give you a demo later on that. So depending on the personalization option that you pick, uh, your start screen will look somewhat different than mine. In my case, I've got pictures of my kids here uh, scrolling through. and. I've got also uh, five, four icons down here, email, web, uh, camera, and phone calls. So let's go ahead and flick in and take a look at the first thing you're greeted with is HTC Blink Feed. HTC Blink Feed continually updates throughout the day everything that matters to you. In my case, I can have all these different news outlets vetted by HTC, or if I wanted to turn Blink Feed into a Facebook feed. From there, I can scroll through and look at everything that's within um, Facebook on my uh, Facebook account. So let's see here if I see something that's interesting. YouTube. Wow. I guess there's going to be a competitor to YouTube based on the founder. I guess he's uh, been quite busy since he left Google a while back. So when I'm done reading, just click home, brings me back to my feed. And so let's say I don't want to just look at Facebook, but I want everything including gadgets, different news outlets. I just click highlights. And here it's going to give me everything I need or want uh, based on uh, the news outlets that um, HTC have uh, partnered up with for content. And you can also customize. So let's say I'm, I scroll all the way to the bottom. I want to get home quick. One click of the home button will get me there. One flick down will get me the drop down. I can pick topics and services. Customize my home screen, settings, tips, and help. Click on topic. I've got a number of different um, sites that I can uh, pick from 
or if I wanted to, I can pick different categories. In this case, technology uh, and science highlight gadget, gadgets, internet, mobile. Um, I can even search if I wanted to for specific sites. I'm just going to keep it general for now. You can also update your feed, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. This is, uh, I believe this is, I clicked on LinkedIn, but if I wanted to update my Twitter, I can do that pretty easily. Let's see if we can bring up something interesting to read. Let's look at this LTE news. This is an article written by Android Community on AT&T's uh, has the fastest and Verizon has the most. That's interesting. Okay, so you kind of scroll through. It's very quick. It's preloaded. You can also jump over to the original source. It uses uh, HTC's native browser, by the way, which uh, does render a whole lot faster than Chrome uh, from what I've noticed in my um, my SenseBiter test. So that's Blink Feed. While we're here, I want to highlight um, HTC implementation of the frontal speakers. Let me give you a quick demo here. So you've got sound coming out from both, the top and the bottom. And if you look here, there's the beat icon, and you can turn that off if you want it to, right here. Not sure if you can hear the difference with and without, but I know up close I can. The sound is a whole lot richer uh, with beats on. Okay, 